morgue-like place with many dead bodies and are greeted by Lieutenant General guesses that all of them had pacemakers inserted into their hearts. The duo is Josh assures him that it cannot be possible. Meanwhile, in Trafalgar Square, his co-worker friends watch the news about the event on TV. Josh finally hears similar bizarre events happening around the world. Josh then gets on his Bob Iverson are ready to land the space shuttle Endeavour back on Earth. Launch is wrong and it is about to crash land. Beck quickly makes it. Meanwhile, an Earth specialist named Dr. Conrad Zimsky put the magnetic field to him, but an arrogant Zimsky claims it to be false. Meanwhile, Josh and Serge are at a bar talking when they are interrupted and asks Josh to explain it to the panel. Josh uses a half-cut peach that will soon disappear, which will further expose the Earth's surface to and Josh replies that there isn't one. However, Zimsky is adamant that his invention, called the ultrasonic lasers, which can create holes in any dent needs to create a ship that will take them to the core. They plan to set off Nucleum's biggest problem. Somewhere else, FBI agents meet a hacker and prevent any information about the mission from being circulated to accompany Josh, Serge, Zimsky, and Braz on the mission. Josh is declared the head of the mission, much to Zimsky's dismay. Manufacture the first ever ship that will be capable of reaching the center of our mission needed to restart the rotation of the core. Beck and Bob will and prepare themselves for the mission. During this time, Josh and Beck start to the mission's deadline. The team finally travels to the South Pacific, where the Pacific Ocean. They are welcomed by whales swimming alongside them. After the first 12 hours, the ship has reached 700 miles below the This team of the Earth's best scientists had not taken the space into consideration. Unfortunately for the crew, the ship is stopped when one crystal jams the steps out and is mesmerized by the view. As Braz and Josh cut, they finally manage to cut the crystal that was blocking the ship. But Josh runs out of seeing if the laser still works. Beck turns them on and the two are delighted and dies. Beck freezes in shock, seeing her partner fall into a pit escaping the falling crystals. Josh regains consciousness and is told about since the mission started. Josh, Serge, and Braz are in the weapons compartment. The three run outside, but Serge realizes that he left his charges but is locked there in the process. To save him, Josh asks Beck the life of humanity in danger. Hearing this, Beck makes the decision monitor. Some time later, the mission control sees that Virgil is about to sooner, but Zimsky figures out that they will not be able to rotate the core because of the control about the situation and tells them they will have to abort. Mission control, the group finds out that Destiny is an old project led by Zimsky. It would his team were the reason for the chaos all along, but didn't tell anyone to the lieutenant is ordered to start the project to Destiny and bring Virgil back, Aliates, saying that if they do not get out before Destiny is initiated, they will sh end the surrounding area. The team doesn't have long before Project Destiny Josh and Braz try to figure out a way they can restart the core. Zimsky suggests execution will not be as easy. After reaching 2600 miles and to modify the ship's gear to make it possible, the only problem is that to modify they die. They draw straws to decide who will do the task. Bradley High, but Braz's suit protects him temporarily. He successfully mo- Zimsky and Josh take the nuclear weapons to each compartment for them to be successfully ejected, but when they are at the third one, turbulence hits. The weapon Josh finally completes the mission of ejecting the weapons. Suddenly, the ship to restart the ship. Zimsky, who is still alive in the compartment, aided, and the world is saved. However, Josh and Bill makes its way to the surface at high speed. However, once they reach the surface ocean, it stops because of the lack of heat to fuel it. Back then, they catch the sound created by whales surrounding the ship through his laptop. He plans to share the whole mission and the crew's bravery with more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the